Hi everyone, this is Heather Smith with Storyville Photography, and today I'm going to show you how to achieve this edit. This is where we are going to get started, and then this is where we will end up. So, a little background about this image. I took it with the Canon R5 and the 200mm 2.0F. It was shot at the focal point of 2.0F, 320 ISO, and 1200 shutter speed. I took it at sunset, which is around 645 at the moment. So, here we go. I have it open into um, Lightroom, and the first thing I want to do is warm my image up. So I'm going to move the slider over to the right, and then I want to hit the Storyville Simplicity number one. The only adjustments I want to make is pulling my shadows all the way up and pulling my blacks up to about 40. And then I'm going to go ahead and open it into Photoshop. Actually, before Photoshop, I am going to just straighten it ever so slightly and crop it in a teeny bit. Okay, now on to Photoshop. Okay, now that I'm in Photoshop, I'm going to make a copy of my background layer. So I'm going to hit Command J. And then I want to take care of her dark circles. Um, they're not huge, but I just want it to blend a little bit more. So I grab the patch tool, and I'm just going to go ahead and select this little area and grab different skin down there. And that kind of gets rid of that defined line. And then I'm going to just lower the opacity a little bit to about 75%. Then I'm going to go to Layer, Flatten Image, and I'm going to make a copy of the background layer again, Command-J for the shortcut. I'm going to zoom back out here. And then I'm going to go up to my filter, Camera Raw Filter. Move this in so y'all can see. And I'm going to go ahead and go into my presets, and I want to apply a Simplicity preset again. This time I'm going to choose six. I love stacking presets, guys. It's very helpful to start out with one in Lightroom and then go ahead and do another one. You could do any of the story of Bill presets, but for this image, I'm going to stack two Simplicities. I love the effect. Hit OK. And then if you need to, you can always adjust the opacity right here into the layers. Um, so you can have the effect stronger or not as strong, whatever you like. I'm going to mask a little bit off of the background. So I added a layer mask. I'm not going to grab a soft black brush at 100% opacity, expand, and kind of just brush that preset off of there and a little bit at the bottom. So that is the before and after there. And now I'm going to come up to the layer, flatten image, and I want to go ahead and use the twisted mat. It's part of the dreamy mat action pack. Hit play. Now when it plays, you're going to be like, whoa, what is happening to this image? It looks terrible, but that's adjustments y'all. So the first thing I want to do is I'm not going to fiddle with the highlights or contrast or mat here. These are going to be the three things that I focus on. I'm going to come down to the twisted mat, and I like to lower the opacity to zero and just kind of work my way up to where my eye likes it. And I think about like, eh, around 27% seems like the sweet spot right here for this image. And I'm going to take the soft black brush and completely mask it off of her. And then I want to come over to the color dazzle, and I'm going to do the same. I'm going to turn it to zero and just increase it ever so slightly. About 15% looks good to me. And same with the focus subject. I just want the edges a little bit darker. So about 13% looks good. And I'm going to make sure that that's masked off of her. You can also double click it if you want to move the gradient around it all. Make sure it's not on your subject. So that is the before and after with the twist and mask. Okay, now the next thing I want to do is find the Storyville Retouch. There we go. And I'm going to go into Brighten Skin and Eyes, hit play, open this up, and I'm going to go ahead and do the Brighten Eyes first. Soft white brush, 100% opacity and flow. And I'm going to zoom in. And I'm just going to do a quick hit over her eye there. And then I'm going to come into the Brighten Highlights. And I'm going to click in the highlighted area in the whites of her eye. I'm going to turn that way down. Again, starting at zero and just kind of slowly increasing the opacity to my liking before and after. 
And then I'm going to come into the brightened skin. And just like the eyes, I'll be turning the opacity down. I like them to come on strong so I know where I'm painting and then I adjust accordingly. And if you have purchased the actions, um, you will notice that you will have to turn the opacity down too. And that looks good to me. <clears throat> so the before and after. And now I have to go ahead and go to layer and flatten image. Some of the actions require to be ran on the background layer or it's just not going to work, guys. And painterly is one of them. So that is my next step, the Storyville painterly action. Background layer selected, play. And guys, also make sure that you're clicked under the grouping. I've had people messaging me, why can't I play my action? They have this area selected and obviously the um, play button is grayed out. Make sure you have the line right under the group selected. So for here, because we already did the color dazzle and uh, um, on the other action, I like to include these in a good chunk of my actions because not all of you have the same one. So if you just purchase one, I want you to be able to have these on there. They're very helpful. So for the painterly base, I'm going to go ahead and take my black brush, soft again, 100% opacity and flow and I'm going to mask it off of her face and I want it completely off of her dress. The details are so beautiful. I just love it. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. If you are printing or doing it for a client, client zoom in, really work on where your masking is so it doesn't look all weird. And then I'm going to turn the opacity of my brush down a little bit and take it off of this some of it off of that uh, her hair there <laughs> before and after I just love what it does to the hair and the flyaways and the grass and now I want to come in and play the ultimate dodge and burn you do not need to use the background layer for that so I'm not gonna flatten it again just yet continue I'm gonna open the big group to where I see the smaller groupings and then I'm going to just do the extra dodge on her clothing here. I'm going to use the soft white brush, 100% opacity, and I'm just going to paint it on certain areas of her dress. Then I'm going to go ahead and take it down to zero and just see what I like. And that looks good to me before and after. And then I'm going to come in to the skin and hair. We already brightened it up with the retouch action, if you can recall. So her skin anyway. So I'm just going to slowly, lightly put some on her hair up front just to make those highlights pop. Okay. And then the environment, I'm going to do the extra dodge. I'm going to come on to the grass here, 100% darker areas up there. And then I'm going to dial it back and that looks good to me. So that's the before and after. Lots of dodging on this image. So my next step is I want to come into this other image that I took during the same session and I did a lot of the same editing to this image guys. Um, at the top I did use a light overlay from the Ultimate Light Pack, One of the Suns. And I'm going to grab the marquee tool and I'm going to select this area of the background um, and go ahead and copy it. So I selected it and then Command C copies it, Command V pastes it. And I'm going to go ahead and just pull this up at the top and bring this down. This is going to make the background even more dreamy. Um, yeah, I just love it. So I also use the twisted mat on here and painterly and I believe the ultimate dodge and burn, just like I did in this image. So I'm going to do it right above our hairline there. And then black layer mask, 100% opacity. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this hard line. Oops, make sure it's black, black brush. And then I want down here to be a little bit more of the green. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Command J, copy this. 
Command T and bring it down a little bit more. The reason why I didn't just pull it down all the way um, at first is because then you're going to lose some of the detail and it's just better this way um, and you don't lose like some of the other coloring if I expanded it too much. Um, it just wouldn't be good, guys. So this is how I'm doing it. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click off, or you can hit the the check mark that was up at top. And again, I'm gonna take this completely off of her and off of here. And then I'm gonna turn this way down. Just want it to blend a little bit. And then I can also turn this down a little bit. You can just fiddle around with your soft black brush and white brush till you really get what you like. Okay. And this is the before and after. You can group it together like I just did and make adjustments. Okay. Now I'm going to come up, flatten image. And I'm going to run the smoothing and sharpening action. Step one, this does have to be ran on your background layer. So make sure your image is flattened before you hit that play button. And I'm going to turn this down to about 52%. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit the sharpening. And I'm going to come in here and turn off the brighten up and contrast. And then I'm just going to slowly increase to my liking. And that's the before and after. The last thing I'm going to do is um, get a new layer. And I love, love, love to use um, this floating particle brush. It's not currently in the Storyville shop. It was at one point, but I took it out to make room for other product. Let me know in the comments if you want to bring it back. I use it on so many of my images. So I'm just going to kind of select a color that's already in here. And I'm going to double click on that and brighten it up. You could also just use a white or whatever you want. And it, it adds like floating dust. Um, I don't know. I just love the effect. So I use it so, so much. And that about it does it, guys. Into the grass. Um, so yeah, this is where we started. And this is where we finish. You can find everything I used here at www.storyvillephotography.com. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye.